Hello friends, this is Shivi and today I'm going to explain you the number swapping program. So you might have heard uh, that uh, interview question that you have to swap two numbers, right, without using a third variable. Okay, so how you can do it? Uh, so there are basically three approaches which you can use to swap a number. And at the end of the program, we'll see which one is better. Okay. So what is the first approach? So let's start with the program. Uh, let's take two variables. Integer A, which is having value 10. And another integer B, which has the value 20. Okay. So first of all, we'll print their value before the swapping okay we will compile also code so that we can see whether it is actually working or not okay okay so we are printing values here now we'll start our swapping program so what we'll do is we'll do a equal to a plus b this is our first approach okay a equal to a plus b so what actually a will have its value would be 30 correct 10 plus 20 30 now we want value of a into b now a is having both the values right because it is summing so b equal to we'll do a minus b okay so 30 minus and would be 20 okay right now a equal to a minus a minus b because a is having uh, value of uh, sum of the a and b okay now b is having value of a so if we remove the a from the sum then remains in remaining is b okay this is our first approach now let's see whether it is working or not okay so we'll take a print also uh, let's say after swapping slash n and uh, printf uh, we can copy paste same thing now let's compile the program A equal to 10 so after swapping a equal to 20 b is equal to 10 20 and after swapping it is uh, 10 right okay so now we will use second approach which is nothing but the multiplication so in previous approach we used plus and minus operator so instead of plus we simply use multiplication the concept is same we are conserving the value of a and b in a single variable nothing but the a okay so a multiplied by b will become 200 correct now what we have to do is we have to retrieve the value of a out of this uh, a into b so how we'll do a by b so which means 200 divided by 20 which will become 10 so now b is having value of 10 correct the similar way now a equal to a divided by b okay so here also its value will become 200 divided by a uh, divided by b which is the value of 10 it's equal to 20 correct so you understood the second approach concept of swapping is same if someone is asking don't use a third variable it means you have to somehow save the value of both in a single variable right so either you use plus or you use multiplication anything is okay but when you're using multiplication you have to divide retrieve it by device division using plus operator you have to use the minus now it is not advisable to use the multiplication and division what is the reason 
the reason is we have used very less value 10 and 20 but let's say the values are very big then the multiplication can overflow the value of a when the variable overflows it actually stores the wrong values so you cannot retrieve it properly so you should not actually use this one in my opinion we have to use bitwise operator instead of plus or minus and uh, multiplication and division a bitwise operator are best but when you're using bitwise operator make sure you are using unsigned value uh, it will work with integer also uh, but it is not advisable to use the integer or signed thing on the bitwise so better use unsigned integer here okay so what will happen here we will use which operator we will use XOR simply we'll do a XOR B let me remove this logic okay now a will have a x or b and b equal to a x or b and a equal to a x or b this is also we are conserving the value of a into a and b this is a different way it is not straightforward i'll explain you later let's see what is the result so compile the program see still values swept okay so it was successful so we have changed uh, um, variables to 11 and 30 just to test our logic again compile yeah so it is swept and now let's understand how uh, XOR is working let's say a value is uh, 4 okay and B value is 5 correct how would you represent a in binary then it would be 0 1 0 0 correct and the value of 5 would be 0 1 0 1 correct now a equal to a x or b right what it will have a equal to a x or b 0 x or 0 0 so exclusive or as you know if both are having same value its value would be 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 exclusive yeah it is there then it would be 1 okay now what we have done is b equal to again we have done a x or b correct now, what we have to do is a x or b what would be the value 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 and 1 1 0 see now the value of b is previous value of a correct now the similar way again if we do a equal to a x or b what would be the value now we have to xor d a xor b correct 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 so now a is value having 5 right which was the previous value of b and b is having value 4 which was the previous value of a okay okay friends uh, that's it from my side if you understand the concept properly please like the video and uh, if you want to see such more videos please subscribe to my channel if you have any interview question you want me to explain please comment on the um, comment section and definitely i will come back with the answer in the next video Thank you.